China behind him, and he also has Iran and the uh, some other uh, of the uh, the uh, countries there in that region. And I would I would bet. That now, uh, especially after yesterday, Pakistan and Afghanistan may be behind him because, you know, the thing is, is that you, over the months, uh, Karzai has asked, begged, pleaded, told him, quit bombing our people. You know, he said he wanted NATO out. You know, and, and the only one that said anything smart was was Gates. Gates said, if if I were, you know, any for, uh, future. Um, Secretary of State that tells his president to go into North Africa or the Middle East needs to have his head examined as so put, put so eloquently by the general. Well, general he also Department. came out uh, last week and said that NATO, uh, that the U.S. may have to leave NATO and that NATO may be basically uh, destroyed in this Libya operation. And, and I know you've given us really good information in the past. Uh, Colonel Six, with your military contacts, and I, and I know what a year ago you said you were about to get out, but you still have those contacts. But specifically, um, you're saying well, what we're hearing from current military people that that this is meant to become a giant regional conflict that then grows into World War Three. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what it is. And you you go back and you look and you see where uh, the general over. Um over, over AFRICOM, um, I forget his name, has, has said a, a while back that uh, we need, to, we may need to send troops into Libya. Uh, one thing about it is, is that Dr. Gates uh, said that they wouldn't go in while he was in office. He's about to leave office, so uh, that is uh, something that can be. I mean, he, he's a man of his words, but. Uh, I can't remember that general's name. I'm going to look for it, and I'm going to post it. Uh, well, Colonel Six, we got to jump to Felix and others that are holding from Texas uh, with this uh, continued confirmation that um, 1st Cavalry uh, and uh, under the 3rd Corps is going in. Uh, but specifically, do you have any information on those specific groups? 3 Corps is going to be the, uh, the head group to uh, go in as the army, but as you know, if you, if you see the, the history of how we go into it, the Marines will go in first, uh, and they're going to be uh, slaughtered, to tell you the truth, because there's things that Gaddafi has under his hat that people don't know about, and he is a uh, master at warfare, has been for years, and he is a threat it's not to be taken lightly. And I'm going to tell you something. This whole thing is behind Berlusconi and uh, the guy that came before David Cameron, Blair, and Bush getting a lot of dirty deals done with Gaddafi, him deciding not to go through with it anymore. And, you know, Italy gets, Italy gets all their fuel from Libya. So for them to be flying sorties along with the British and have the British drag them into a slaughter is absolutely stupid. But you will be start seeing that they won't be able to hide that these uh, people are coming home. And I'm going to tell you something. Somebody from those seals that got killed on that raid that didn't go down, somebody's wife, mother, aunt, cousin, brother is going to come forth and break, the, break it that they hadn't heard from Mike since, you know, that day. And uh, you're talking about, like oh, yeah, what's the scuttlebutt on the uh, because the stuff we're now getting from multiple sources is they sent the seals into a dummy house, blew the helicopter with them up in it. And that it was a special secret team within SEAL Team six. I, is that what you're being told? Yes, it is. And and that the they crashed. They didn't blow the helicopter up. They crashed and they were killed. Uh, the the people on, on board the, the helicopters are killed. It's numerous people, not you know the pilot, the co-pilot, and you know numerous of the seals that were on that were aboard were killed. So uh, all of this is like I say at Colonel Six dot com. You can go through it. You know I'm not. No, I understand. Lie, but... Listen, you've always given us great info. Thank you for the call. I want to bring Watson up briefly on another issue. We're going to come back with Felix and others, but it's on, folks. Huge ground invasion of Libya. And it is going to be a slaughterhouse on both sides. But, hey, it's not a war. Obama said so, and Wiener didn't send that photo 
uh, it's all Breitbart's fault because the government told you so, and they're good people. Uh, Watson, um, sorry to keep on hold while that was going on. We have confirmed, it turns out Jaron tried to tell me about this a week and a half ago, uh, but now the calls are flooding in that it's on local radio and TV. I need you to sniff it out right now that at Fort Calhoun, nuclear generating station, uh, back on June 6th, it's confirmed there was an electrical fire uh, and uh, some explosions, and they, and they were worried about a meltdown. Now, uh, today and last night, they're reporting a flood in the area, and they're battling to keep the facility from being flooded. There's floods in that area, and there's photographs of the facility uh, with water all around it, uh, and it looks like flooding into it uh, from Business Insider. We need to get a report on this out uh, that uh, it appears the crisis is worsening uh, at the nuclear facility uh, there in Nebraska. Uh, Watson, comments on this? Uh, I haven't read it, Alex, but I'll certainly look into it. Stay there. I want to get your take on this whole World War III situation. Brief when we come back. I want to talk to you during the break. I'm going to go to other callers. Max Kaiser uh, from um, Athens is joining us, Greece. And we've got other key guests coming up today. The whole world is going crazy right now. Go off the grid for worry-free phone calls now. Yes, worry-free, affordably priced, no-hassle mobile, residential, or business phones can be yours at offthegridphones.com. Our plan started only $14.99 per month for residential and only $39.99 per month for mobile. And our mobile rates include taxes and surcharges. That's cheaper than the top three providers in North America. What makes us off the grid? We never ask for your social security number and never run a credit check or make you sign a contract, something those large phone companies can't offer. Offthegridphones.com offer some of the lowest, most affordably priced plans in the industry. And popular low-priced mobile phones are available too. So make the switch today to offthegridphones.com for mobile, residential, or business phones. Get your off-the-grid phone by calling 800-600-5553. That's 800-600-5553 or go to offthegridphones.com. Affordable, private, all this and more at offthegridphones.com. You've heard Alex Jones talk about eFoods Direct and their highly nutritious long-term storable food. Believe me, it tastes great. Order any three of their qualified packs and you'll receive the fourth absolutely free. Let's say you order three of their one-week responder kits. You'll get the fourth week free. That's a $75 savings on a one-month supply. Are you kidding me? For the cost of one greasy fast food supersized combo lunch, you can eat three hearty, delicious meals. And this offer is good for any of their quick fix supplies. This offer ends on June 22nd. eFoods Direct is prepared for these troubled times and will ship your order within 48 hours. Call 800-409-5633. On the web, eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Your order deadline is June 22nd to buy three and get one free. Call 800-409-5633. On the web, eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Get more food for your money at eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. Phase one of the insider's plan for a one world government has been initiated with the recent bailout. International bankers and power brokers have engineered the current crisis to create a new currency and a new world bank to act as savior. But we've only seen the beginning. Their next engineered crisis will be on a scale never before seen in modern times. Shortages and empty shelves will spread fear and panic across the land. The insiders have discovered that they must control two things to seize total power. Phase one is a one world currency, which we are currently being prepared to accept. Phase two of their insidious plan is complete control of our food supplies. Go to www.foodshortageusa.com for the details. That's www.foodshortageusa.com to learn how to prepare for the unthinkable. Don't wait for empty shelves. Learn how to make your own survival foods for pennies on the dollar. Go to foodshortageusa.com or call 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Okay, Jaron back on June 7th, the day after this first started, did put it in my stack, and I never saw it or didn't get to it, but he went and pulled it out of the stack in there and gave it to me. Uh, I don't know why our phone system is being flooded, Genesis phone system is being flooded, because uh, it appears that, er that uh, there, well, it, it's confirmed there was a fire. They were worried about that if it melted down, there could be explosions back uh, in on June 6th and 7th. And uh, the, there was a fire in the electrical switch room on Tuesday 
briefly knocked out cooling for a pool holding spent fuel at the Fort Calhoun nuclear plant outside Omaha, Nebraska. Now I've got uh, Fort Calhoun flood defense with WOWT.com News 6 out of Fort Calhoun uh, saying that the floodwaters are rising. And I've gone through all these articles online. I see photos here in the Business Insider of it uh, surrounded by water. And they're trying to put in more sandbags. So uh, people calling us saying there's been a meltdown. There's no evidence of that and no evidence of explosions. Though I found a bunch of websites saying that with a search, but they haven't confirmed it. Uh, so, um, again, I would normally think everything's okay, but you have the Simi Valley thing in the 50s where it blew up and they covered it up for decades and was a total meltdown, uh, the sodium reactor. And then you had, uh, what, three months ago or two and a half months ago, the whole problem and radioactive release up in Canada. And that was not even on the radar screen. And they told us that uh, the situation was wonderful and fine and nothing had melted down uh, in Japan when we saw reactors blowing sky high. And now we know that's indeed what happened. We had nuclear engineers and others here confirming. Then they picked up the different radioactive isotopes, knowing that it meant massive fission explosions had taken place. That's now confirmed. Uh, after it's off the radar, the establishment admits it. Uh, but we'll continue to look at this. Watson, do you have any comments on this situation? No, uh, I saw the fire last week, but it says here that the plant is uh, is an island itself, so that's why it's surrounded by water anyway, besides from the flooding. Well, no, that's the concern is it is an island and the water's uh, rising up right to the edges and there's a danger of flooding. Some say water is getting in, but... Uh, that's similar to what happened with the tsunami, but this won't be 20 feet of water smashing equipment. So hopefully everything will be all right. But how do we trust the feds to tell us if something has happened, Paul? Well, I'm sure we can trust them, Alex. It's not like they uh, completely ignored the radiation threat from Fukushima and merely raised the safe level to make people stop worrying about it. Paul, shifting gears, let's just investigate this. Let's uh, put out a call for investigation. You know, what in the world's going on at the nuclear plant in, in, in Nebraska? Fire, um, you know, flooding. We, we need to get some state people in there that are more trustworthy on average uh, than the feds. Uh, now, uh, so there, listeners, you flooded us. I've looked into it. We don't know what's happening, so we'll try to figure it out. Briefly, as I go to break and then go back with other military callers, what do you make of all these confirmations? And, and we know the U.S. troops are there, but they're building up the numbers ahead of full invasion with the 3rd Corps and 1st Cavalry. Well, I mean, they've, they've sent Marines in there before. There was a report that they were sending thousands of Marines in months ago, there were already special forces on the ground in March before they even announced the no-fly zone. And of course, um, out of Bilderberg last week, the Tucker and also Adrian Salvucci were saying that there was going to be a massive war in the Middle East. Salvucci said that Bilderberg's hidden agenda towards Syria uh, would uh, make itself visible. And that, he said that on Monday, and then lo and behold... Three days later, you've got warships heading towards the Syrian coast as they prepare for this uh, intervention. Watson, you're going to be on with us uh, tomorrow. Uh, and so we look forward to you joining us. Also, Aaron Dykes to cover the wide spectrum of what's happening, but also break some new Bilderberg news and information here today. By the way, we now have the full Bilderberg agenda from our sources. That article by Kurt Nemo, very lengthy, went up today. One of the top stories linked in red at InfoWars.com and also at PrisonPlanet.com. Paul Watson, let's continue to track the buildup towards World War III. I'd say that most of our attention now needs to shift towards that and the staged terror attacks they're going to use to kick it off. Thank you, Paul Watson. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. You may be arrested and or subject to Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. 
Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming.